everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a small pom-pom. And you're going to need some glue. I'm just using some Elmer's clear glue. A pair of scissors, fork, and some yarn. I have a Q-tip, but that's because I've messed up my glue and I can't open the top of it anymore. <laughs> yes, only I can manage that. Okay, so let's get started. First, you're going to cut a little strip of yarn, say, I don't know, four inches. Okay, you're going to take your fork, you're going to put that through the middle tine, okay? Just like this. You're going to hold that down. While you're holding your fork, you're going to take your other yarn. You're going to start wrapping it around the fork, okay? And when you get about five or six wraps, you oh, you have your glue ready. You have five or six wraps. Okay, so you're holding your yarn. You've wrapped about five or six times. You're gonna take a little bit of your glue and you're just gonna put it down the center on both sides. You see what I'm doing here? Okay, and then you're gonna wrap some more. And then you're gonna stop and do the same thing, just a little bit of glue. And all this is doing is giving just a little bit of extra security to the center of that pom-pom. If you have little munchkins or animals or something that like to pull at the pom-pom, this gives that extra hold in the middle. Okay, so we're going around a few more times. Pause, put a little bit more glue. Both sides, don't forget both sides. Okay, and then, and it's just down the center. You're not going all over the, the yarn. You're just going the center strip until you hide. Keep wrapping until you hide all the that glue. Okay, so that's about good for me. So now, I still have this yarn here. I'm just gonna shimmy it up a bit. I'm gonna snip my yarn, my working yarn. Now, I'm gonna take this strip and put it through my fork like so, okay? Now, I am going to take it and I'm gonna pull it really tight. Tight enough that it's really tight, but not so tight that you snap the yarn, which I have done. You're gonna put that back to the middle tine. You're gonna feed this one through the space. You might need to use a needle or something to push it through. The struggle is real. The struggle is my nails. They are too long. Got that through, put it through, pull tight, put it through there. Sorry, you know how it goes. There we go. Pull that through the other side. Okay, so now on this side, we are gonna tie it. Again, whoops. This is my tail of my working yarn and I wanna make sure it's going the way it was going before. So pull really tight, 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 don't break, and then knot it again. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna pop that off the fork. 
taking our scissors and I'm not letting go of my knotted yarn. Taking your scissors, you're gonna snip. Okay, and you just wanna make sure you get through all those loops. And it's very thick, so you're gonna have to do some maneuvering. Make sure you've gone through all the loops. Okay, and then what you do to one side, you do to the other. And of course you're doing this with the yarn to go with your project, whether it's making, for me this is going on a dog sweater, because I do dog sweaters. Okay, so there we go. Now you kind of fluff it up. If you see any loops that you didn't cut, you want to cut. Now this was my tail from my working yarn. I want it to be the same length, so I'm gonna snip. Okay, and now we're just gonna start trimming it so that it's round. Okay, and I'm still hanging on to my two. That's just so that I know where they are. I don't wanna accidentally snip them because those are what I'm gonna to attach to my work. And we're just going to tidy it up. And you can be as picky as you want with this. Sometimes I'm quite picky and other times not so much. And there you go, my friends. There is your small pom-pom. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you want notifications of when I'm going to do a new video. Whoa, sorry. If you want notifications of my newest video, hit the little bell. Sometimes that doesn't always work, so keep in mind I try and do a new video every Thursday at around 3 o'clock my time. So look for a new video on a Thursday. I, and as I say, I try. It doesn't always happen. I do the best I can. And there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.